If you want to use Tesla FSD for self-driving, it costs 199 US dollar. But in China, if you want to experience a similar function like on Neo EX6, it only costs 228 Chinese yuan equals to 22 US dollar. For sure, actually, I have already spent 15,000 Chinese yuan equals to 2,000 US dollar to buy this basic Neo Pilot function such as ACC Adaptive Cruise Control. So today I want to share my daily driving route home to office to test is it worth it if I subscribe Neo for function autopilot features for 32 US dollar. Let me introduce this car first. This is a Neo first generation ES6 launched in 2020. Actually, it is old generation of smart driving hardware, mobile i 24 chips. Now in China, all new EV products are using NVIDIA Orin X. New generation Neo EX6 uses up to four Orin X chips. This is the way I go to office every day. I drive a short distance by myself from home to the expressway and then get off the expressway to the office. Also a very short distance. Basic function ACC can only free my feet, while the upgraded function brings LCC, Land Centering Cruise and NLP Navigate on Pilot, which follows navigation with autonomous driving. Hi Naomi, go to the office to see if the 32 US dollars worth of the features. Let's get started. It was ACC just now, but now it automatically switched to LCC after get into the expressway. Now get into the Shanghai Mid-Ring Elevated Load, Neo EX6 automatically switched to NLP. The function of LAC, Auto Line Change by Turn Signal cannot be realized this, so I have to change the lens by myself. This curve of load can be passed by autonomous driving, but the Neo's pilot driving is not so smooth. When LCC and NLP is on, ALC can be achieved by turn signals. The traffic speed on the left is relevantly fast, so ES6 automatically changes the lines and passed by. A Tesla suddenly drove up in front of me. I didn't operate anything and it evolved it by itself. Today, actually, China EV products are almost equipped with the LCC, ACC, and NOP functions. However, Tesla cannot launch the FSD in China yet. So Tesla can just achieve the same as Neo NOP. Based on my experience and my ranking regarding autonomous driving ability, Huawei now is the number one which launched on the brands such as Aito and Avita. Xpeng might rank number two, while Tesla is at the same level as Lioto and Neo in China, rank number three. And Tesla's autonomous driving is too expensive. 32,000 RMB equals to 4,500 US dollar for the basic functions, and 64,000 RMB, 9,000 US dollar for the FSD and even not available today. It's a joke and it does not support subscription. Now I have to exist to the expressway and my office is not far away, so I quit NLP and drive by myself. After my sharing of the way from home to office today, do you think it is worth spending 32 US dollars per month in China to buy such an autonomous driving function? Please leave your comments below and thank you for subscribing to the channel Supercharged Panda. I will continue to update videos about China electric cars. So see you in next video.